2018 Toyota CHR vs 2017 Honda HRV, compare cars. Small crossover utility vehicles have surged in popularity, and every car maker is rolling out new entries. The Honda HRV is already popular, and a year after it was launched, the Toyota CHR is that maker's repost. It's the little brother of the immensely popular RAV4 compact crossover, just as the HRV is a smaller sibling to the equally popular CRV. They're both light duty vehicles suited to city and suburban use by young families or couples. But only the Honda offers optional all wheel drive, for better traction and security on muddy athletic fields and unplowed roads. Although AWD is available on the CHR in Europe and Japan, Toyota says it sees little demand for it in the US, so it's not offered. More, read our full 2018 Toyota CHR and 2017 Honda HRV reviews. The exaggerated styling of these small SUVs works to disguise the tall hitchback on wheels shape of most utility vehicles. The CHR, it stands for coupe, high riding, has the most expressive lines of any small crossover but we think it works better than the Prius or Mirai that use similar design themes. The rakish Honda uses the brand's usual styling language, a thick chrome top bar for the grill, swept back front light units, and strongly etched side accent lines, to give the HRV some pizzazz. Its rear end, however, appears to be just a shrunken copy of the latest Acura MDX. Under the hood, the Toyota offers just one powertrain. A 144-horsepower 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine paired to a continuously variable transmission driving the front wheels. Despite the utility vehicle label, all-wheel drive isn't available. Honda uses a 141-horsepower 1.8-liter inline-four, paired with either a continuously variable transmission or a six-speed manual. All-wheel drive is an option on the Honda, unlike the CHR although only with the CVT. Neither car is quick, though the Honda felt stronger in high-demand circumstances like highway merges. Both little SUVs are based on car underpinnings and handle well enough, although we'd give the edge to the Toyota. The CHR has a lower seating position lower than the Honda, which lessens the feel of body roll and turns. Both are capacious for small SUVs, but the Honda is by far the roomiest vehicle in the segment. The rear seat of the HRV accommodates two adults with generous head and leg room, as well as two up front. The HRV also provides Honda's unique magic seat, which folds and flips the second row seat like a lawn chair to offer multiple storage and seating configurations. The Toyota is roomier than it looks inside, both front and rear, and its rear seat folds flat, though the load floor is surprisingly high, at mid-thigh. Both vehicles are pleasingly quiet and refined inside on good road surfaces, drivers and passengers will find most travel peaceful in either one. The Toyota CHR hasn't yet been rated either by the NHTSA or the IS, though the Honda HRV received mixed ratings for the HRV on the latest menu of crash tests. The Toyota comes standard with 10 airbags and a suite of active safety features, but visibility out the back isn't very good due to its rising window line, steeply raked rear window, and very thick roof pillars. The HRV offers a rear view camera and tire pressure monitors as standard, and Honda's nifty side view lane watch camera is an option. But blind spot monitors and adaptive cruise control likely won't arrive on the HRV for a couple of model years. At a base price around $20,000, all Honda HRV models include power windows, locks, and mirrors, a rear view camera, a tiling and telescoping steering wheel with audio controls, and Bluetooth with audio streaming. Higher trim levels add a large touchscreen interface, the lane watch camera, keyless ignition, paddle shifters, satellite radio, navigation, leather, a sunroof, and heated front seats.